What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Pete and Sebastian Show. I don't know if you paid attention, but you didn't see our normal logo or uh, anything that we normally put up before the show because today is it. I don't know how many huge announcements we could have in in the in the in the course of three months, but it's more than the White House. We're just <laughs> popping every other day. It's like breaking news. Breaking news here. At the Pete and Sebastian show, we were looking at the the Pete and Sebastian show current logo, right? Right, and we've right. had this thing for I don't know, I want to say what six, seven years. We we we've had another logo prior to that, mm -hmm. but I think because the show has taken a turn for the better, I yeah, think absolutely with the guests, with the remotes. Right. Now we're going on tour, face this to going, face, face to face. This is. <sighs> Almost getting a little emotional. <laughs> we are going to reveal the new Pete and Sebastian logo right here, right now. We did a photo shoot. We did a photo shoot for this logo, people. Really? Downtown Los Angeles. Pete and I went, this is a few months back. We got some behind the scenes footage. And I believe this is yeah. the first time. You're going to see this footage. Yes. So, Pete, I I saw it because I had to. Pete, you haven't seen this. No, no. First time Pete's going to be seeing this. We'll get his, his immediate reaction as soon as we come out of it. And when we come back, the new logo is going to be behind us. So take a look right here. The new Pete and Sebastian logo and the behind the scenes Exciting. photo shoot. Straight from downtown Los Angeles, Pete wow. Sebastian show coming at you from our big photo shoot. Doing some possible logo shots. Do you know about the turtle neck technique? No. Oh yeah, turtle out your chin like this. It feels weird, but it makes you look really good. You go like that. Just turtle out. There you go. Hey, look, hey, look. How can I tell him to do that? Isn't he? <laughs> Dead side. <laughs> this is him looking at the phone. Oh, oh, so the back of the room. We still do it in the back. Oh, oh, I don't feel like what happened, what you didn't see, is our, is our ass <laughs> was touched. Oh, I don't feel like we nailed the back. What <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I can't even have lunch. That's, that's nice. <laughs> Should we touch Vegas? <laughs> Listen to our cats. I got you. What are you going to be listening to? What's the pose for the cast? What is it? What are we doing? Now we're starting to see some of what Jackie deals with on a daily basis. <laughs> Pete's been dying to get out of here since we walked in the door. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Guys. Oh, shit. Freaking awesome. I got the chills. All right. I don't know what you guys are feeling out there, but my left arm has goosebumps. What you take? The greatest thing I've ever been on film on. <laughs> really. If my great grandkid could only see one thing of me on film, it would it would be that. That is freaking so great, man. Oh, I, I, what a friendship too. I I'm, know. I'm like, I'm touched, man. It, 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 is that your sis? Yeah, my, it? my sister did the, I, the edit I, on that. I, 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 Sebastian, sister Jessica did this. What a talent, man! Thank you for putting this together. It's unbelievably awesome. Yeah. So Pete, Pete actually, um, yeah, I, I could tell is, is is actually touched by the whole thing, and yeah. I, and I got to tell you. Thanks to Thad too for the for the logo. We can get to that. Thad, yeah, Thad out in London hooked us up with the logo. Fis and uh, Patrick as well. Major major props to everybody on the team here to get this logo out. To to to, to they were there. Uh, Pat and Fis were were there at the photo shoot. Yes, uh, walking us through this. And uh, I mean, listen, that that day we were. 
we were nervous right. that we weren't going to get anything, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. We didn't know how that was playing out at all, man. I mean, it was very uncomfortable. It's, it's uncomfortable doing those things, man. Yeah, <clears throat> it was uncomfortable, but the way it was put together, you would have never known. No. And uh, and Thad made the the red the, the, the logo here, right? Yeah. All also, right, I want to give a shout Thad out. Cox, baby. I want to give a shout out to uh, Lindsey Goldfarb and... Uh, my beautiful wife, Lana, who worked hand in hand awesome. with Thad to come up with the logo. Uh, I know they were working, uh, hard on that. So Thank you. big, big team effort here. Absolutely. Want to give props to everybody. Am I forgetting anybody? No, we got everybody on the, on the oh, thing. Lee. Pothead Studios. Pot, pot, Podhead Studios, the guys who took the photos and the video down there, got to give a shout great. out to yeah. them. They were great. They have a great studio downtown. They really do. That was a cool setup. And um, yeah, so we're up and running, guys. This is uh, major, major news here at the Pete and Sebastian show. This is way more than a podcast. This is a television type program going on here. Yeah. This is huge, baby. Yeah, this is a TV produced show that is making absolutely no money. What so, are we doing about that? Should, huh? we, should we start doing ads for like uh, Javalia? Like, <laughs> you, you act like we got a choice. Should we start doing like like we like we're turning down Bro, ad money? I can't believe Blue Moon hasn't called me on your level specifically. Let's be honest. Have you ever thought to yourself, I can't believe so and so product has not given me a phone call to be a spokesperson? You know what the problem is? What? You don't have a blue moon here. I bring you on stage, you know? I mean, we don't have no product placement here. Man. We have uh, a cup made from some guy. I got this that, out of your it, kitchen. Yeah, and there's, there's, <laughs> there's, there's no ad dollars there. We have a glass and we hide, we actually hide <laughs> our, our, our water. <laughs> After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I heard that Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I thought, what's the catch, man? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless service online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings directly to you. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans for just 15 bucks a month. Say bye-bye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. That's what more could you ask for. Just ditched overpriced wireless with Mint Mobile's limited time deal and get premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month. Now, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash the cast. That's mintmobile.com slash the cast. Cut your wireless bill of 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash the cast. The cast is all one word, all right? Additional taxes and fees and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. One more time, mintmobile.com slash the cast. So you look at a lot of other podcasts, and we need right. your take on this. Here's, you know, yeah. What's your take, everybody, on the fact that we have absolutely no trinkets, no plants, no nothing behind us. There is no. Uh, you, you watch these podcasts; they yeah. got stuff all over. It looks like we walked into a knickknack room, right? right? They yeah. got they got the yeah. But some of these places, based on what they have on the wall, I, I'm like, did you have to climb a rope to get up there into your little fort? Like this is classy. This is a this isn't like if you mail us a, a something. We're not going to put it on a shelf behind <laughs> us just because you mailed it to yeah. us, you know? This no. isn't uh, the uh, studio at AM radio in 75. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got no uh, license plates or whatever the fuck they got. You, know, <laughs> right, you, right. you ever have that? You, have, were you ever a license plate guy or uh, a street sign guy? Oh you my, you yeah, bro. No, but my brother-in-law is for his barn. And like in the past. Why are you whispering? He, Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, like, because he he's not going to hear it. He's actually told us, 
State Seed still. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Surprisingly, I got Alaska. I haven't found Delaware yet. <laughs> 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 is it that hard to get plates? Can't you? Do, doesn't Amazon have them? Well, I, if you, you, it's like bird watching. You can't just go to a, a sanctuary. You got to find these things naturally at an antique show. Oh. You know, you can't just order Rhode Island plates to make the collection. You know, it's if you're a true, authentic license plate collector. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this brings me. You know, we have been having a lot of conversations outside this podcast with friends and family and whatnot. I'm not a really a collector. Of anything, right. you know, people collect shoes, people collect watches, maybe cars, baseball cards, knickknacks, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Have you ever been a collector of anything? You're not a collector of sneakers? No. Nothing, huh? No. No. Uh, no, I'm not a collector. I can't, no, I'm not, man. Does it upset you no. that, what? that you don't have a, like a, a collection of, of anything? And when you see that somebody has a collection, do you... Uh, look at them in a different light. Like it, let's let's say you right. didn't know I had a collection of army figurines, right, right, in my closet. Yeah, and would you look at me now and go, "We have a problem"? You know, I probably would. I know, I know a good friend of mine who became a friend when I was an adult. I went to visit him. He said, I'm going to see my dad. He lives in town outside of New York, and I had met the dad. He's a cool guy. And then we go in the basement, and the dad had been working on for over 20 years a, a train set, which was unbelievable with towns and stuff. Saw the dad in a whole new light by the time I got back up to the kitchen. I don't even think I slept over. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, guys. <laughs> I had a half, uh, I was collecting comedy albums. You know, but then like I got about four, 40 in maybe. It was pretty cool, you know, but then I'm like, I'm never listening to these things. And I kind of it faded, it faded. So it I never. Gotta, I got to tell you, that's a pretty cool collection. I, I, I tell you why I like it. Albums are in a crate. They're not necessarily displayed on a wall. I mean, right. you could put them on shelves and what, what have you. But I prefer a collection that's not seen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to walk in here. Like, here, I went right. to uh, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee has uh, these, I don't even know if it's a collection, but he used to take, like, Elmer's glue and over his fingers and then yeah. pop them out. And then he, on his feet, glue. And then, like, he's got, like, like uh, a collection of glue casings, casings of his appendages, right? Mm -hmm. And he's got them you know, on the shelf at the at the studio. I mean, that, yeah, I mean yeah. that, that's, I don't know anybody else that has a collection of, of glue figurines, right. but I like a collection like yours mm -hmm. that's like, oh, there's, like we, we could be at your house and you go, oh, there's my collection of albums. And it's like, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's off to the side. Yeah, but th th think about it though. Th th the problem with it, why I stopped it is nobody cares about it. My, my kid didn't care about it. My wife didn't care about it. Nobody who came over cared about it. I started to not care about it. Like, I can understand not wanting to have a collection that's out. But you need to have a collection that if you say, hey, I got a Bob and Bob, want to see it? People actually go, okay. Well, mine, they're like, yeah. You see a fucking <laughs> Abbott Costello record album? I'd like to see that. that yeah, you never come over, bro. I've known you over <laughs> fucking 12 years. You've never even, you, you've even literally told me how you've driven by the highway. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. no, but uh, you do have to come visit sometime. So I won't throw them out till you get there. No, no, I, I'd like to see the albums. Uh, did, guys, do you have any collection? I, I know you got to have some. Right? Oh, my God. Like, what's, what's your, what's your, your collection? collection? You, you could legally comics. talk about. Yes, oh, com comics. Like, and records. Okay. And comic books? Yeah. Are they displayed? I mean, they're there for people to read. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any comic book that if I was a fellow comic booker and I came over and you dropped to me like, bro, I got Green Lantern third edition. Like I'd go, get the, do you have a get the fuck out of here comic? It's, I have more like good collections of graphic novels and, and like, you know, anthologies and stuff like that. But I, I get books to read and records to play, but I collect them. 
That's the thing. We collect, we have books that we've read on our, in one room. It's really cool, all on the wall. But I was having this talk with Jackie the other day. I go, we're never going to read those again. So, like, what's the, I just like having those. I go, all you, they're just out. Why don't you just write a list of all the books you read that you want people to know you read? Because that's the only reason they're out there. I mean, you know, it doesn't make any sense to keep them out, but we do. It's like, bite it, get, let it go, throw it out, throw it out. Why don't you collect watches or, or cufflinks or something high end that, when you pass away, someone can find it and go, dude, we're going on vacation with grandpa's cufflinks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something that'll be worth something down the line. Yeah, well, well I, you would like those, the collection. Of, here's another thing. Yeah. Do you want the collection to remain in the family? Or do you get a collection and the first thing you see is... Let's sell it. <laughs> like, <Right. laughs> like they're, they're actually talking about it while you're still alive. <laughs> Don't forget he's got the stamp thing. He did the stamp thing. Oh, yeah. For example, your father, God rest right. his soul. Yeah. Let's say he had a stamp collection. Right. Right. You didn't even know about it. Right. And he's a book of stamps that this guy's been oh. collecting his whole <laughs> way living. I know where you're going with this. So do you go, oh my God. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I can't wait to like pass this down to Sadie. Or do you go, Jack? Who do you know that buys stamps? Oh God. Right? I mean, literally the first time I see, I don't even walk away and I'm already Google and stamp appraiser. <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you think I'm gonna be like? Oh, I can't wait to look through this. No. No, what? <laughs> you don't even bother what? to flip through. Maybe he's got like little notes that says I got this one when I was... Uh, oh, man. What if you found out your dad, like, collected old, you know, uh, uh, you know, tools used through the years of the craft, you know what I mean? He's got a nice glass case with old scissors yeah. from back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you get that, you're going to keep it going, add to the, you know, latest scissors, or are you going to sell it? No, I, I, I would keep that as a... Well, then a you're going to have to... Find out the value of the scissors and give half that in money to your sister because she ain't going to care about the scissors, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got sentimental value. You want the comb. That's fine. I want the cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well it was dad stamps because that's like the arguments that would be made, right? You can have that one person in the family that like, that wants to keep everything, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, did you did you have any of that with uh, you know your mother and your father? Did did you have any like, eh, we should keep that? Here, here, no, here, my, here's yeah. one thing, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I my my friend recently lost his dad and he went to go clean out his closet, right? Mm -hmm. I said, did you did you keep anything? He goes, yeah, there was a yeah an old t shirt that he always used to wear. I kept. And his his favorite shoes I kept. Now, right. is 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 you know I, I don't mean to bring you right, back right, to right. this, but uh, is there things that you you saved? This is ring. His Iowa State college ring he never okay. took off. And it was that collectively, we got to save Dad's ring. And who gets it? Uh, it was definitely we have to save the ring. Uh, I think they even suggested I take it, but he had a watch he also loved. My brother took that. And my sister got a freaking Beamer, brand new. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we told her to take it, so but you could, but she didn't want anyone else to have Dad's car, and it was brand new. So yeah, no, nah, we didn't. There was none of that in my family. That's you know, good. Luckily, that's good. I, yeah, yeah, and it's not going to be obviously with you guys. Clearly, well, listen, I, I there's nothing, there's nothing, uh, we're, there's nothing to keep. I mean, there's, <laughs> he's, he's ripping through it all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, you know, you know, you know, we're gonna get the inheritance. Uh, yeah. About ninety-eight paper towels downstairs in the basement. I don't know. Did, did, did your dad hoard shit? My dad, your dad, I don't. Your dad's got the kind of vibe that you could find about you know, a quarter of a million dollars inside <laughs> sheetrock. I'm not, put, you know, what I'm saying, don't, don't, don't put that away. Your guy's Sicilian, worked his whole life, lives a, a very humble lifestyle. Oh yeah, those walls are stacked with hundreds. I think, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to break down every wall in the house be oh and, and, and sell it like as a <laughs> one room. Right. This is the where's all the rooms? We had to break all the walls to make oh, sure. With his last breath, he's gonna hand you a map. <laughs> <laughs> you and your sister gonna be out there with a shovel, twenty paces right, two to the left. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh god! Hey, 
I know, <laughs> joke, man. I mean, I no, know, we, we, my dad didn't collect anything. My mom, by the way, I got to tell you this. Yeah, and, and, uh, we gotta, I got to give a shout out here to my mother. We had a little, uh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say an argument, but my mom came at me pretty hard um, because I was on a podcast mm -hmm. and the promotion for the podcast that I was on, it was the Ed Milet show, uh, had him saying, in in the in the trailer, you you just told me your dad you were happy to have your dad alive to see this right, mm -hmm. and it was just a clip he took out. It was like out of context. My yeah. mother saw that and mm -hmm. said, "You know, I got to tell you, I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut." I was like, "Yes," <laughs> and when my mom gets like hot she's like you you know it's like it goes from zero to a hundred right away <laughs> and you know why aren't, why don't you ever mention me on these podcasts or you know and she's often said you know to me i don't care if uh i don't need a movie made about me <laughs> 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 but just acknowledge <coughs> I'm alive, oh. you know? Oh, <laughs> wow. That's freaking awesome. Because no one really knows. Like, I don't talk about my mom a lot in my act and whatnot. It's primarily my dad and right, talking right, about, right. you know, him and whatnot. And he's such a character. But mom, if, if I know you're listening, I, I I do love you, and and you, I'm I'm very happy that you're alive, and I will start mentioning you on national. TV, so <laughs> everybody knows. There you but go. yeah, it uh, and, and I didn't really know. I you know I didn't know what to say. I said, right. "Ma, come on!" I, I I often say that my mom is my muse. If if I say something to my mother and she laughs, I know twenty thousand people are gonna laugh. But apparently that ain't enough. She right, ain't hearing right. hearing it enough. Right. So I got to start kicking in some some mom. Uh, well, I just feel like I right, listen. Who might I'm no psychiatrist, but mom's love has always been strong and deep. But dad, I've always been trying to get dad to go way to go, right? <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, you know, and that's free. You don't have to pay me 175 dollars for that. <laughs> um, I gotta tell you, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take a beat here. Yeah, and because I'm sweating. Uh huh. Is, is everybody else hot? Oh. No, no, but none of us just apologized to a mother on a podcast. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I said no, but none of us just apologized to a mother on a podcast. <laughs> is that why I'm sweating? No, okay, yeah, it is. It's, That's the, um, oh, it's too funny. Um, did we talk about yesterday? And again, you got to, you got to, you got to forgive me with the memory here. That we went to uh, the gymnastics uh, for for Serafina. Did we talk about this? Off year? air, you had mentioned it for a quick second. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I wanted yeah. to cover this because yeah. I, I, you've had experience with this with Sadie. Now, this is the first. We went to uh, Serafina's gymnastics meet, and she was super excited for this. Awesome. So she was very excited. She takes gymnastics twice a week. We also have private lessons for her here at the house. Nice. She's really into it. She went into the meet with the utmost confidence. She was like, this, I can't wait. You know, no nerves, no nothing. Great. Right? Really, really. She said, she's like, Daddy, I think, you know, I think I'm one of the best people in the class, right? Well, we found out based on the meet that her her placement was, you know, eighth, seventh, fifth, right? And we were all happy for her. But this is the first time she got to see, like, scoring, and like, yeah. you know, you're not first, you're eighth. You know, you yes, you have three medals, but those medals are not in the top tier of the of the group. And she was happy. Now, was it all the same age, or is she also going to get some girls that might be a little older? No, no, all the same age. All same. Age. So it's basically her class because there was no one else in the tournament that that was her age group. Uh -huh. So it was basically yeah. a tournament for her group yeah. of fourteen girls. So you know talking about my father and my mother uh they they're more more my dad it, it was the the attitude growing up would have been <laughs> eight ways yeah. yeah it would it would have been associated with cost <laughs> right <laughs> i'm paying i had a i had a i have a private soccer coach right uh -huh. growing up 
Uh, right? No no math tutor, but we had soccer <laughs> soccer coach. His name was Frank Speth, German guy. I don't know where my dad got this guy, but I, I was that Saturday mornings out at Force View High School kicking the ball around with a German guy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. No, and, and, you know, back then it was like no, no parental nothing. It was like, you're going to meet you. In the soccer field behind the high school. I'm like, no, no. You want to take me? You know? I walked there. I could have got, you know, this guy could have took me in a van. Right. Oh, oh, my God. It's different times, Different right? times. Your dad probably cut the guy's hair for free. It was pro bono, <laughs> right? I cut his whole family's hair. He teaches my kids soccer on Saturdays. No. We, no? My, no, my dad, my dad never cut anybody's hair. I mean, did his hair. No, no. Never cut anybody's hair for free. Oh, oh, really? Oh, no. Oh, never? No, it, it was like, it was, a, it was, I think only one guy got his hair cut for free in exchange for a service, right? Do you know the service? Yes. Can we hear it? No. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, dude. So, right. so, again, it was harsh growing up. Not, not, I wouldn't say like, oh, harsh. It's not like, you know, but it was, it was not, it was not like, hey, it's okay. Right. right. Next time, you know, there's no, it was, what happened? You said that you were going to do, you know, it, it, it was more a little, little aggressive, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, that, that works kind of, you know, you, you don't really leave the conversation feeling good, but, you know, there is a little bit of, of a motivational, uh, you know, yeah. in, in the conversation, there is a little bit of motivating. Okay, I got to you know, make dad happy or whatever. Right. Well, I mean, geez, you know, your, your sister's successful. You got this all, this career going. I mean, your dad could totally argue what he know. did work. Well, I listen, I don't know if it was so much with uh, my sister. My sister tried to play soccer, right? And my dad went to go see her and it was, it was a lost cause from the get. I went to go see her play soccer and I got to, <laughs> I got to tell you, it was, it's, <laughs> let's get off. Get off. <laughs> so the, uh, they didn't call the German guy to come teach your sister? <laughs> no. Sister got no extra help. Um, but now that I got a daughter, especially with a daughter, I think maybe with the son is a little bit more. But she's like, Daddy, I won three medals. And look, I got 8.4 8 on the floor. And I said, yeah, that's great. That's great. But next time, you know, let's go for nine. I think you could do better. I know, and I know you know you could do better. She's like, yeah, no, I know, Daddy, I, I could do better. Uh, but, Perfect. but it was my first time, that, you know. Like, and she hits me with like, oh, it's my, it was my first time, Daddy. And I'm like, oh shit, I got, I got to really, I got to hey, take it, you know, oh, yeah. take it back. I don't want to like shatter her, right, right. her dreams. But uh, with you, I think though, from the stories that you've told me, on the podcast with the diving, right. right? It seems like a little bit of a, a more of a an abrupt approach that you're taking uh, as far as, right. and I don't know if it's because she's older and you, or you were doing this when she was six. No, we, we've been doing it. You, you, listen, what you do, I think you use your own instincts, but that's perfect, man. But like uh, Jackie's pretty hardcore and the diving, she dives and swims, but it's more swimming than anything now. Cause diving, you, you just don't get to do it enough. You know, there's like the coaches, there's not like a regular thing, but with the swimming, just to sum up the way we are with her, this I can sum up in one thing. Every time she has a swim meet, and she's doing great. She's going to Silvers next week, and she made golds already. But right before she goes to do it, I'll say, and remember, what's the most important thing? What's the most important thing? And then she goes, have fun. And then Jackie goes, no, it's not. What is it? And she, she goes, win, Mom. And she goes, yes. And, and then as Sadie walks away, I go, no, it's not. It's have fun. It's have fun. You know, I go, Jack, why do you do it? She goes, because it's about winning, you know? And I'm like, she knows that, but you don't need to add more pressure. But I mean, she, I always put it this way. Your daughter's even way younger than my daughter. My daughter's in fifth grade. I, I was, I, I don't remember feeling pressure in fifth grade in sports yet. Right. Yeah, no, you know? I, I didn't, I didn't. Not I didn't until like seventh. So, you know, I mean. I think it's like, you know, I, I don't think, I think you're doing great. I don't know. You do your own thing. Lana's probably more like way to go, right? Well, I think there's there's a pressure even with the parents nowadays to like, oh, the kid, you know. I was to Lana. I go, Lana, she's, you know, she's six. It's her first meet, you know. Yeah. And, and you know, I couldn't help but like, I felt I was out there, you I know. know right? 
this is the first time I like she's in the competition and she ran up and and she kind of fell and as she fell I was like I was like I was, I was like I was taking aback I was like oh my god you have she, she fell she fell <laughs> she fell down get up you know <laughs> <laughs> have you ever mapped out as a dad you, what your route would be if your kid got injured and in in like doing her thing? How would I get down? I'm like, I jump down that fucking thing, man, and then I run out right there. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, I. Or do I, you not even go out? Like, are you the, yeah, like if your kid does a little ankle twist, it's like, ow, do you, as a yeah, parent, what do you do? I, well, I, I didn't go down that road. I went down the road where. If it's a soccer game, right, uh -huh. and Caruso gets hip checked by another kid, this is the problem I'm gonna have when when somebody's screwing around with my kid on on the soccer field. I gotta like, cause I could, I could. <laughs> I can't even say it, I, but you, it's we have an uncle <laughs> that we often refer to because he, he's a little, you know, hot in the head. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I got. I got that in me. I don't know if I would go as far as, you know, fighting parents and stuff like that. But yeah. that's that's where... Because that, yeah, I was passionate just watching my daughter. And she wasn't competing necessarily against the team. It was like she was competing with herself, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's moments where she didn't go over the bar. I'm like, fuck! You know, like... <laughs> you know, this, 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 this is like six years old. And I'm like, what the... <laughs> and the Lana goes, what the f I thought she was good at that. <laughs> and Lana's like, no, she was. She was good at that, but it's just like anything else, you know. Like, uh, 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 we're like, oh god, I gotta tell you, it all. It's so funny, man. Uh, you get like is is the duck out? Is that the is the duck out? Yeah. Uh, at these meets, right? Yeah. And I'm not built for this. This is where the age kicks in. I need proper seating. Oh man. I ain't like bleacher guy for four and a half hours, right? They said the bleacher. And by the time we get there, because we don't know. This is our right. first thing. So yeah. we don't know, like, what bothers me is the parents who, like, know it all. Like, oh, yeah. They set up. Oh. They, they have the, the seats that clip onto the bleachers. I just with got back. that for Jackie for Christmas. <laughs> I know. I just got it for her. She hasn't used it yet. I can't wait to be home to use that thing. Oh, bro. I so, know. But I'm sitting there, like, I'm sitting there for an hour standing. Right? And I can... <sighs> Oh no! I only I I don't even just I only watch my own kid. So the only problem is sometimes like my kid's done and I'm going to get up, but a parent of a kid going next is about to go, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know Sally's <laughs> going. What the <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I don't know sitting next to Sally's mom. My back is killing me. What are you the fuck? You know. So yeah, I, you only just you do the you just go to the doorway. You listen. You're a man. You got you're older. You're not going to sit in the bleach. You do the doorway leaning when your kid goes. And then when your kid's done, you pop back out. Okay. Well, I didn't do any of that. I was in the gym for four and a half hours oh, straight. Standing. And then it got so bad, my foot started to swell up. I had to take my shoe off, right? Oh, my God, bro. Is it, is it that, that I took my shoe off? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> my back started to hurt. So I'm, <laughs> I'm on the floor, bro underneath the stanchion where you're supposed to like and and it got so it got so bad i had to i had to lay down oh. yeah. i'm watching i'm watching the gymnastics laying down like i'm in my living room and a woman had to come up to me and go sir sir i go yeah what's, you need to move back oh and if you don't your daughter's team's gonna lose points. Oh, oh my, my god. god! I'm that guy. Oh. I'm, that, <laughs> I'm that guy. Oh. Can you imagine point deduction? <laughs> what? Oh. oh my god! Jesus! So my You're laying on the floor on like the field of play, basically. <laughs> Almost, yeah. And, on the performance mat? No, not at the. There was a performance yeah, mat yeah. about where that camera is. Yeah. And if you touch the performance mat as a spectator, yeah, that's points deducted for oh the team. I didn't know any of this oh shit. Oh my god! I thought I thought I was like, open this shit up. Oh, I gotta, you know, I gotta lay out. So I gotta bring, I gotta bring seating. <laughs> yeah, to the do. to the next. I mean, but not like I'm talking about. But out I, of the four hours, how much time would you say Serafina was actually performing? 
I mean, it was uh, four minutes. Oh, my God. Bro, why are you watching Strangers? <laughs> There's no camaraderie in this. It's like, I, I don't care if everyone on my daughter's swim team comes in last. If she comes in first, that's a win for me as a parent. I, I agree. You know? And you know what I was you know what I wasn't doing? And what? I want to get your take on this. Yeah. Other people went, and at the end, do you do you clap for other like the other teammates? <laughs> like when they're done with the swim, do you go, "All right, great swim, Julie"? Uh, are, are you that guy? Well, if they're walking past me, I'll say, "Way to go, kiddo!" You know, <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking from the stands. Oh. Are you cheering or paying attention? Oh. to any Only other? Only mine, kids? but even mine. I tell Jackie, "Why do we keep yelling?" I, I I've said to Sadie once. I go, "Can you hear us?" And she goes, yeah. "No." <laughs> I'm like, "Then why are we cheering?" Yeah, you know? I, I, I've with often swimming. thought that too. Like, what the hell are we screaming about? Yeah, it's not like a, a, with swimming you don't hear anybody. But yeah, my only cheer. For, yeah, again, the only way I cheer for other than my kid is once in a while there'll be <clears throat> a kid that's like particularly not good, and the, the the swim meet's way over, and the kid's still going. So you feel bad. So you give the old way to go, way to go. You know, it's during the intermission, we have some exciting news for you people. The wait is finally over. We have unveiled a fresh new logo, launched new social media platforms, and have amazing, groundbreaking new episodes about to drop. All I want you guys to do is click the QR code now to be the very first to access the latest updates, exclusive clips, and the most amazing content you will ever see on the internet. And who knows, people? You might even catch Pete and I going live together. Now, remember to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and you could still enjoy every episode every Monday on patreon.com backslash Pete and Sebastian show, and every Tuesday on youtube.com backslash Sebastian comedy. It just keeps getting better. Well, listen, uh, the reason why we're wearing different outfits here and on the show is because we, the whole fucking show is screwed up. We don't, you know, this is not, this is not like, oh, I gotta be in unison. You're, you're just coming off one episode, you're bleeding into another one. So, yeah, we got different outfits on, but that's, that's not the, uh, yeah, the, the first half of this show that you saw when we discussed the logo was taped at a, a different time during this three day run. Yeah. And now we're doing this. And now we're doing this. I, I, let, let me just let me just throw a softball out there to get ourselves up and running again. I have an opportunity. Yeah. To go to a Clippers game. Okay. Yeah. And sit courtside. Okay. Yeah. What should take? And how old do you have to be? Because it's got two tickets. I was thinking of either taking my son mm -hmm. or my daughter. Do you think if I have a six-year-old courtside, is that, like, appropriate? Well, <laughs> Laker Lake game, no. Clip a game, no problem. <laughs> and I know the Clippers got a great team this year, even better than yeah. Lakers. Uh Honestly, I feel like, and I hate to say this, uh, you bring your daughter, no problem. Little girl, you bring your son, you know, hey, there's a lot of guys who have been Clipper fans for years who would have loved that ticket, you know, but with your daughter, I got like, my daughter. No, I really don't think so, though, bro, honestly. I don't know. I, I mean, it's like, and I often refer to this story, first game I ever went to, mm -hmm. up in the rafters, couldn't see obstructed view. Right. But then when I got down to the floor, I had I had perspective. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you bring a six year old court sign. Where are you going after that? Well, I mean, so how is she ever going to learn? You plan on sitting in the rafters again at a Clippers game? 
That's the thing. Unless your daughter's going to be up there with like somebody else, and then you go, all right, she did a game up there. Now bring it down to me for the next <laughs> game. You know, then you got it. It's just the life you're living now. Bring your daughter if you want. I mean, I would imagine <clears throat> Lana's not like a huge hoop fan or something. Or like, well, like, actually, my, my son has recently got into basketball. I just, it's a little too young. It's a little too young. Like, because yeah. all it takes is one moment of him, like, not caring about the, you know, you know, yeah. then it's like, no. but your daughter. Mm, I still think it's too young. This is the way, I, this is the way no. you should determine whether or not you bring your kid to a courtside game, right? Mm -hmm. If their feet, while sitting down, yeah. can't touch the floor, too young. Well, can Spike Lee's at the <laughs> Knicks game? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. You can't go by that, but... Is this here's another big question? Is this a weekend day game or is this a weeknight? It's a weeknight. It's a weeknight. Like, now, it's an and now it's like hitting ten o'clock. You got the kid there. It's like ten o'clock. It's just seven seven o'clock you go. Right, but like kid game goes to like ten, right? So you think it's gonna stay the whole game? Oh wow, that's <laughs> I'm gonna bring my child. Uh we're gonna sit at the court side and we're gonna leave halfway through <laughs> and then the seats are just gonna be empty. <laughs> Here, listen. Yeah. And I think maybe we talked about this. I don't know. Are you guys going to stay long enough to have your caviar sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to, but I mean, you I can't mean, leave courtside at a freaking game. I don't know, can you? No. Are I mean, you obligated? Right. To if 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 offered tickets, are right. you obligated to stay the entire time, no matter where it is, I a play, right. a game, <clears throat> uh, a whatever it is? Mm -hmm. Do you have to stay? I don't know, man. I mean, it depends on, like, you're getting invited to sit there because, you know, it's good for them and you might have a nice time. It's nice for the people of L.A. to see uh, Sebastian's rooting on for the Clippers. <laughs> it's not good for the people of L.A. to see you leave at halftime. <laughs> you know? Let's say at halftime. All right. Even a timeout in the third quarter is even worse. Well, 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 listen, so, I've often gone to these events, uh -huh. even if I'm paying for the tickets or whatever, and I'm at the age, I almost did this at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Should we leave at the middle of the third quarter? That was the plan. We we're going to leave middle of the third quarter mm -hmm. at the Super Bowl yeah. to beat the rush getting out. Sure. Because, listen, at these games, when you're leaving, and we, we ran into this at a football game at SoFi, people are drunk, right? All right. Yeah, there's, you see this all the time. Yeah. You know, fighting. Leaving the game, someone's got. I did it with my daughter at Billy Joel. We like <clears throat> one song away from his last song, flew it down the garden, you know, before oh. anyone came out. Yeah, yeah. She was young. I don't need her to see all that. Yeah. And I get that if you got your daughter. I also get it if you're in the bleachers, I mean, in the rafters, and then you leave whenever you want, no matter who gave you the tickets. But I just thought there was a give and take. Like, like when you were sitting with Dolan in the garden for, was it a Ranger game? We left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then forget everything I said. You walked out in front of the owner at the con. <laughs> well, I guess the question is, will you be waving to Jenny Buss when you leave a Laker game someday halfway through? <laughs> oh, Jeannie, I'm sorry, Jay. I mean, the, or should I call her Mrs. Moore? Is, is, has she changed the name to Moore? Well, they don't even... Or did, they have, did Jay take the, the name Buss? Did they, Jay take the name Buss? What? No, Jay, Jay they, don't even have, they have separate apartments in the same building. They don't even live yeah. together? Yeah, it was, he had a whole thing in the news about it. It's very funny. It just works out good for them. They meet up, you know, and spend, you know, a lot of time together. And then, you know, so, yeah. So I doubt she's taking the name more if I'm not even sharing the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, massively in love, I see. I'm just saying. But anyway, so who who gave you the tickets? The owner of the Clippers? Or like? It's not important. Okay, but listen, by the way, when you met Woody Johnson. Yeah. Can we go to, you know. You know what are you going to have you in the skybox if you want? Because that jacking, because I'm there if that's happening. I'll pony on like that. Well, he, he had asked, he goes, have you been to London? No, I I really haven't. I've flown through London. I've never. Have you been to London? Yes. Okay. Love uh, it. Awesome city. Okay. Never awesome, been. Bro. Never spent any time there. But do you ever get a question and you go, okay, where? what's this going? Where is this going? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to London? I know. I say, no, I, I haven't. They're like, oh, we're thinking of having you come to London to perform. 
Now, I don't know what in what capacity this is. He goes, do you think, do you think they'll get your humor in, in, in London? No. Somebody asks you if they're going to get your humor. It could be, let's say, uh, Greece, Spain, Sweden, any place that you wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Isn't just the default? Of course. Of course they're going to get my humor, right? Right. Do you, yeah. do you, would you say, I mean, honest to God, do you think, they, do you think they, you, they would get your humor in, say, it's not a beautiful place, but like Senegal, like right. deep right. Africa, right? Yeah, right, right. Would, would, would I go, I, well, I would do the fake going through my index of like what I would do if I was headlining in Senegal. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, like that. But, you know, but I was in a party thinking, listen, Mr. Johnson, with all due respect, if you're already worried about how well I'm going to go over, Let's just not even do this because I don't. I'll just, I love it. I'll just go see London on my own terms. Love the take, right? Love the take. Huh? Yeah, because you either hire me, you hire, you go to Elton John. Are they gonna like Rocket Man? You don't ask that. You just hire me and you step away and you enjoy the show, <laughs> right? You know. So um, I don't. Anytime I'm talking about people at a, like at a high level, mm -hmm. like in this particular forum, yeah, yeah, I feel. If 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 Johnson saw what we just said about it, right? Yeah, that he could shut my internet off. <clears throat> you, you ever feel that way? He can't even get a good quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna shut off your communication, and he's like starving for somebody to back up a forty-year-old guy coming <laughs> off of a ripped Achilles who should be co-hosted with Watt on on uh, Sunday mornings. Let's be honest. So no, I think your internet's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the bigger picture out of this whole story is, and no disrespect to Mr. Johnson, just put that aside and you and Lana take the kids. You got to go to London. It's a fantastic. Why? Why? First of all, their cabs, when you get in them, you sit two facing this way, two facing that. Like you could play cards. <laughs> right? It's, you know what I'm saying? It's so cool. They, everything, the food is, no disrespect, love you people in England, but. If you could, you know, bring your own chef <laughs> from the States, go for it, you know? No, they said the food has gotten better there over the years. When's the last time you went there? Uh, no, it's been a while. It's been about 10 years since my okay, last yeah, time. Yeah, no, the food scene has definitely been elevated since you've been there. You got to go. Jackie's going for the marathon. Me and Are Sadie, you going? No, we wanted to go, but Sadie's in the middle of school. But we're going again soon. And I want to go because I also want to spend time with Thad, who did the design, which is a part of this show. Uh, and meet his family over there. And uh, yeah, I actually want to like do the family dinner with Thad's family in England. How cool would that be? Like, you know. Wow, you're really. Just, just, just for a night. Nah, you're, you're, like, you're just sleeping in the basement. <laughs> you know? But you, you would like London so much. I could see Lana and you thinking about getting a little Pierre de Terre in Notting Hill. Notting Hill. You'll love it that much. It's a great city. Top three greatest cities I've ever been to. Well. I don't think... And I've you... been to Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what were you going to say, bro? I, I, <clears throat> I don't think you should... I think you should go for the marathon. I mean, when you say Sadie's in school, and yeah. I don't want to give any... No, because they start getting tested now. She's in fifth grade, and they get tested, and you miss stuff, and it's a big deal. And Jackie's, like, wildly locked in. The only thing you do is you either go full bore, uh, homeschool... We know a few people that, like, we know a couple that lives in another country half the year. Um, so they know they can't just dip a toe with the kids. So they just homeschool, man. I mean, I'm never doing that. But, like, any movie star when they go on the road, is it a tutor? Probably probably a tutor. But I want to talk about something even a little bit more. How important mm -hmm. do you think is education? Honest to God. Let, let, let's, let's break this down. Now, you were ed college educated, right? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm taking everybody in the room. Fist, yeah. did you go to school? I could, yeah. I could listen. Yeah. Pat, Patrick, you went to college. Yeah. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. what did what did you learn in school? Like, uh, just if you didn't go to college, do you think you would be the same guy? I just, I just use today. First of all, if I didn't go to college, I don't think you and I would be friends. I think I'd be a little dumb. Uh, I also think that I... I uh, well, listen. Yeah. I'm stop you on this. Yeah, yeah. 
Do you know anything about Napoleon? Oh, uh, yeah. What? Well, 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 give me a fact. Okay, well, you know, you he, was short? The, he was emperor of, of France. He was exiled to an island. Um, um, you know, he, I think he overtook France at one point. And then, yeah, and then eventually he was exiled to an island, which I think he escaped from, I want to say. Is but, anybody in the room? No? He's short. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, right, right, right. we all went to school. I thought, I thought I gave some good stuff right there. I mean, very broad. It's not like uh, like a groundbreaking information you just gave us. Well, right? I, I, France I and major the, in French history. I, well, I feel like if you went to a four-year university, mm -hmm. you should know what this guy did. I don't know no. nothing about this guy. Do you know his full name? No. Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, okay. Now, now I, I, I remember that. hearing that. Oh, but, right. <laughs> but I mean, like, the recall. Bro. You're selling yourself short, and I know you're playing a character to a certain extent in life. But when you look around, I'm just saying, I'm, you, I'm, 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 there's a lot of moving parts in your life, and you have you. If I'm, you weren't educated, I don't think you'd be able to I'm balance not saying, it as well. I'm not. I'm see you, you. You already you already implied that I'm anti-education. I just asked, what did you really learn in school? No, you're right. You're right, because, and I'm. Uh, let me go on record saying, anyone without a college degree or even a high school degree, Sebastian, you're bringing up a great point. I'm not saying you're not as smart as anyone else. One of the smartest people I've ever known in my life is my father-in-law, who's only gone to high school. I, 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 just like a wealth of knowledge. I'm blown away. So I'm not saying, I shouldn't say that college is necessarily important, but just like learning and, and gaining knowledge i feel like is important yeah. and trying to be as smart and knowledgeable as you can regardless of whether or not you go to school please i don't want people to think they have to go to college but if you get a chance to go it's fun to <laughs> right i mean jesus it's four years of fun do a little work and party. <laughs> that's what i feel college is is yeah is football games after hour parties taking out <laughs> oh, bro, bro. <laughs> that, 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 this is that this is that afternoon strand. <laughs> where, where, right? Where you get like weird and shit. You did that you did that the other day with the <laughs> Yesterday you did it with the oh I'd clear the room and oh, have my way with I'm her. Sorry. That's the same shit. I, I apologize. Just... I apologize. <laughs> I was kissing while you would dance. <laughs> <laughs> You're right oh, though. Shit. I was a little poor taste. <laughs> but it's about meeting girls and no, 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 yeah, no, totally, you know. totally. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but everybody that I I know that's become successful. I mean, you hear these success stories. Not everybody I know, but you see like. Oh, like uh, Zuckerberg, he dropped out of oh, Harvard. Uh, the only thing smarter than going to Harvard is dropping out of Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like, what do you just stand up and go, I, like, I'm getting nothing to these fucking people. Like, just, you know, that's better on a resume. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I mean, but but a lot of these people, second year, they drop out. And next thing you know, like, uh, they they have a, you know, an IPO that debuts and they, uh, two two $2.1 million. Apparently, that's all you that's need what, is a garage. Well, I mean, that's where all these people, all these businesses start in some garage, right? Yeah, but did you ever feel, when you were taking college courses, did you ever feel like, oh, man, I'm smarter than all this shit right here? Like, no. like, like they walked out out of boredom yeah yeah yeah. from like mit and harvard you know so like but i would have walked out of boredom from the opposite way <laughs> <laughs> like you're just legitimately bored <laughs> not interesting yeah, yeah i don't know i don't know it i just don't <laughs> care to <laughs> so, well i know but yeah so that's interesting right you know like like let's say what what's worth more Serafina's becomes a senior after high school and she's real independent. And she says, dad, I, you know, I save money through the years, as you know, from birthday parties. I want to take two years with my friend and we're going to go travel to France and here and there, you know, and do our own thing. And then come back after two years of traveling, she like more knowledgeable than two years of your basic college and what's more important and what matters more when you get out, you know? Yeah, I don't know. You would like to, to think that there's a traditional way to kind of do things. You graduate high it school, was. you go to college, right? But now it's like, all right, hey, dad, what do say? Eh, I want to go to school. I want to, you know, I want to stick with swimming. I think I, I think I could make the Olympics. Do you go, man, eh, nah, I'll huh. support you. Or do you go, man, eh, nah. like if you yeah. know your kid ain't good maybe to get to the next level, are you obligated to tell them, listen, I've seen you. 
swim, mm -hmm. or I've seen you play baseball, whatever it is, maybe we should look at other things because I don't know. Or do you, uh, do not, you let not, them find out? Not if they're trying. Like for me, like say he was doing swimming and diving. But the last time we went to the, the diving, when they wipe out, it hurts. And these girls cry. And, you know, they try to be tough about it. And she was doing events off the high dive. And we go all the way there to Buffalo. Bro, she like sits on the end of the diving board and does a sit down forward. Like not even a... And Jackie and me were like, what the fuck is she doing? Like, you know, she's chicken now. She chicken now. So, and there's a high wall. And she finishes, she comes out, and now she won't make eye contact with us. We go right down over here, you know, you know? And we're like, we're not coming all this way again if you're gonna chicken out, you know? And then we have a big talk with her going home. I'm like, Sadie, I don't give a shit if you fall flat on your face, okay? The fact that you did it is all I care about. And if you're not gonna do it, and, I, and we just said to her, like, listen, if you're gonna keep being scared, we're not gonna do this one. And it's okay. Some things you're not into and you're, no, I love it. So I don't care if you try, but if you're going to chicken out and not do it like full tilt, then beat it. Or, you know, you're not going to want to do it once in a while, then forget it. I ain't doing it. Yeah. This... But if you're great, if you put it all in and you still suck, what are you going to do? You're going to literally tell Sophia, listen, I know you try so hard, but you're terrible. <laughs> Let's go play ice cream. <laughs> Get an ice cream or something. <laughs> well, the, your approach is reminiscent of kind of my my father and the way he approaches yeah. these things. And look at you now. No, I, I listen. I I'm not knocking what he's done. You can't. And bro. I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, and, he's and, he. Your dad thinks he should be writing a book about it. <laughs> <laughs> How to get to the garden. <laughs> Key, keys to get to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> and I should say my, my mom. And your mom. mom. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Without that balance. Yeah. <sighs> what are we saying? Yeah. <laughs> more for mom. More for mom. More for mom. More for mom. Yeah. Although, I don't know. My, you know, my, 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 <laughs> more for mom. <laughs> 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 but my mom's got that, too, in, a, in her a little bit. You know, like, yeah. she'll even say... Uh, you know, I'll go somewhere and I'll, and she'll, you know, make a remark. Go, Did they even know who you were? You know, like, uh, <laughs> that's, I think, where I get it from her. You know, like, hey, why? You, you think you were going to get in? Because, you know. <laughs> I love it. So I have that. Yeah. In my, you know, th there's like a, you can't, there's no ego in my family because there's no one's going to give you any type of like, you know, they, they give right. accolades. But a lot of the times it's like these snide little, like, yeah. You know, it's just the two. Yeah, yeah that's they, they, they it, yeah. rip you down. You know, they, they yeah. rip you down. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to go up to you know Serafina if she you know, doesn't right. do something. Go get the fuck over. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean and, and that's look at the quarterback now in California. Super Bowl quarterback, last pick of the draft. You just never know. You never know. Like Super Bowl quarterback. Brock Purdy. Oh, was know? he? Was like, he? I, oh, I didn't know. He's he was. the last pick in the entire draft, not even the first round, the whole draft. Okay, so I don't know if you feel this way as a Jets fan. I feel that Chicago Bears mm -hmm. never find like a, a gem in the late rounds. You know, you right. never hear, oh, they got Justin Fields, right. first round pick. And he hasn't really done much, right? Yeah. I feel the Bears never get that guy that, like like Tom Brady, right? another guy. Yeah, right. They're never in that, we got him at in the sixth round, we got him yeah. in the seventh round. Do the Jets get, like, these 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 gems? No, but the, the, any quarterback we've had that had any kind of lasting power, like you said, fifth, sixth round, the early ones, flameouts. So, like, I I feel like if you're what you're saying, I feel like every franchise shouldn't even start picking quarterbacks till the seventh round, right? Why well, am I going to burn an early one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, know. Who's, who's uh, in your opinion, yeah. top three best Jets quarterbacks? Of all time. Of all time. Wow. wow. Kenny O'Brien. I don't even know if you ever heard of him. Oh, yeah. If you grew up with the with the Gaston Oklecko days. Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. We were ten and one at one point. I had a poster of him on the wall. It was all looking good. We didn't win again the rest of the year. Then I had um, Chad Pennington was pretty good. I like Chad Pennington a lot. Do you put Namath in there? I wasn't alive for Namath. Yeah, I wasn't they, even alive. They didn't even win a Super Bowl in my lifetime. They won nothing in my lifetime since I've been alive. Jets haven't won. 
They haven't even been to a Super Bowl since I've been alive. Oh, wow. And I'm talking from birth, man. 68 was the last time they went. It's wow. ridiculous. It's like, it's like if you owned a team that long and said, you can never go to the Super Bowl, you'd still accidentally go. I, I feel like I'd <laughs> accidentally bring my team there once or twice. Nothing. You had that great run growing up where you had the Chicago Bears, you had Jordan. You've yeah. been spoiled, man. Yeah, I, I have been, but... Like the Yankees, though. I feel like... I don't know how I feel about the, the Yankees Whoa, fans. Bro, bro. Be careful. Be careful. It's the greatest professional sports organization of all time, okay? It's unbelievable. Bro, you have to shave to play for the Yankees. You can't even have a beard. What other team? I didn't know that, and now that you said that, I'm all in. I'm <laughs> all in now. I love the no beard. They had guys that were great who had beards like Mo Vaughn on the Red Sox, and he's like, I'd never shave. And we're like, well, we'll never ask you to come play for us. So right. uh, I mean, right. they wouldn't even bend for anyone. And we've had great players. Jason Giambi used to always have the beard. Couldn't beat us. He was on the A's. He was a beast, a beast. And then one day, all right, I'll shave because I want to be with you guys. And then he comes <laughs> over with us all clean shaven with like, kiss the ring, kiss the as, I, I, as I'm saying from the bleaches, in this day and age, yeah. could you believe that they could still get away with, you have to shave your beard? Like, I'm surprised <clears throat> someone hasn't filed a lawsuit going, what, what are you, prejudice guys, guys, guys with beards? I know. Well, you're right, you're right. And there's also the fact that, like, you know, if Derek Jeter wanted to have a beard, the whole thing would have been turned upside down, let's be honest. And if Aaron Judge wanted to have an Amish beard, go for it, you know? <laughs> so, um, but it is amazing, right? I mean, we also haven't won in a long time. But, bro, drink some C4. What's going on? <laughs> I know, do you, are we waiting for a bus right now? You're looking down, rubbing your finger? Let's wrap this up then. We're done. I was sitting, I was sitting there going, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, right now? Yeah. Just now? I, yeah. I was like, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over. A, yeah, it is. That's We're it. talking about beards on the Yankees. Well, well, you know, if you're not going to bring your daughter to this game, who's going? Lana? What are you going to do? You're going to go, right? Uh, We'll see. Bring your daughter. We'll see. We'll it. see. Find right. out what happens next episode of Pete and Sebastian as we down some pizza. <laughs> Oh, can we add one thing while we're going still? Just keep it going. This isn't for the cast, but maybe we can use it. Listen, before we caught know when this gets used, I was going to go and just do this behind your back. But I don't want to do it behind your back. I talked to staff, uh, the people here, some of the people, and they're cool with it. I'm, I'm going from here more on the road. What you think of me doing a load of laundry in your washing machine? Is that all right with you? Or is that like, do you not like to mix? Uh, I'm not with your clothes, but... I was just going to try and do it without you knowing. But then I feel like if you found out, you'd be like... I, I got I got no problem with it. Yeah. But the one thing popped into my head. Oh. The pot you smoke is so potent. <laughs> if you put one of those shirts in my fucking dryer, <laughs> I might not be able to get the pot... The butt smoke out of there. Listen, we got we got to get away from that talk. All right, I'm turning <laughs> into like it's becoming I'm a just, Cheech and Chong thing with me now. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just saying this is the first thing that hit. The, yeah, you're not uh, gonna smell it because it's up your nose the whole fucking thing. So, <laughs> so yeah, you could do lawn you could do uh, laundry in there, right, just, but just know I gotta hang it up. after yeah. it's out. I'm gonna do a whiff <laughs> to, sh <laughs> to see if it's still in there. Well, I, I won't put it in a dryer. I'll hang it all on the no. island branch. Just... <laughs> no, 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 no. That's fine. You, yeah, you, Thank you, you bro. I appreciate it. No problem. No problem. <laughs> <All right. laughs>